Hi there, I am Sai, and today we're going to be doing a quick review of the Dr. Bronner's soaps versus the Dr. Squatch soaps. And I am a very long time user of the Dr. Bronner soaps. I love them. They're almost 100% organic, pretty much one of the most natural soaps that I've personally ever used, and I have a bias towards them. But I recently learned about Dr. Squatch soaps from my nephew, who had one of my sons using it, and they both like them. And I wanted to do a direct comparison and try these out for the next five days or so before reporting back to you just about what maybe I like and dislike about these soaps and how they compare to each other. And there's a group called the Environmental Working Group. And for example, some of Dr. Bronner's products are on the approved list, meaning they have the best score you can get as far as natural products go. And although the Dr. Squatch don't have those highest ratings, they do have very high ratings. And as far as overall quality of ingredients goes for natural type ingredients, they score pretty high comparing to Dr. Bronner's, meaning they're pretty equal as far as that goes. And there's multiple scents in both of the soaps, and the fragrances are, for example, with the Dr. Squatch soaps, they're the ingredients that they say some of them are man-made, and I'll explain what that means, but it's not necessarily bad. They're almost all plant-derived. I'll explain exactly what that is looking at the ingredients of both of these here in just a second. All things considered, these are both soaps that I would allow myself and my kids to use and my family. I feel good about them. And I think the main types of people that these soaps are for are people who are looking for the more natural ingredients. But let's go ahead and take a close look up of the ingredients and we'll talk about that a little bit. All right, so we'll go ahead and take a close up look of these ingredients side by side. I'm just going to start with this unscented one because this is probably the best of the ingredients in the Dr. Bronner soaps officially. And so you can get a close up look of the ingredients in this unscented variety of the Dr. Bronner's organic coconut oil, organic palm oil, sodium hydroxide, water, organic olive oil, organic hemp seed oil, organic jojoba oil, sea salt, and citric acid tocopherol. And just so you know, Dr. Bronner's has clarified, as it is also true with other saponified soaps, that the lye or the sodium hydroxide, none remains after saponifying oils into soap and glycerin. So that's just something to know that the chemical reaction makes it so that there's there's no sodium hydroxide remaining, but they both use that and pretty much all soaps use that for the most part if they're like a bar type soap. And we'll look at the Fresh Falls ingredients for the Dr. Squatch. And those ingredients are saponified oils of olive, sustainable palm, coconut, shea butter, natural fragrance, Alaskan glacier mineral clay, indigo powder, kaolin clay, and sea salt. And when it comes to fragrance, this is true for both of these soaps, although I think that with the Dr. Bronner's, they they are more essence-based. Fragrances can include essential oils, distillates, terpenes, absolutes, or other chemical compounds that are isolated. And so with the Dr. Bronner's, I think that they're more natural and stick specifically to those derived from plants. But the Dr. Squatch does make me question when they say other chemical compounds isolated to give Squatch the unique blends you know and love. So all of the same types of mainly plant-derived ingredients, but as Dr. Squatch has said, they like to use 98% natural ingredients. So there might be a couple of fragrance related ingredients that are not quite what people would consider natural. So I'm going to just do a quick scent comparison of the Bronner soaps versus the Dr. Squatch soaps. So peppermint, simple peppermint. Lavender, it's pretty simple. Yeah, I can smell the peppermint stronger outside of the box here. Smells good. Of course, this one's the unscented. I like that the Dr. Squatch soaps actually have this little hole here where you can smell each scent. And the Fresh Falls, it's okay. Not bad, definitely interesting. Here we have the Cool Fresh Aloe. Not a very strong scent. The Bay Rum, hmm, I like this Bay Rum. It's a nice scent. The Pine Tar. Not too strong, but not bad either. I don't mind that smell. And the summer citrus, not too strong of a smell. And the cool fresh aloe, hmm, interesting. I don't know what to think of the cool fresh aloe, but I'd say that of the bar soaps by Dr. Squatch, the Bay Rum is my favorite scent. Okay, so I've been a long-term fan of the Dr. Bronner's and I've been using it literally forever. So I probably had a slight bias towards the Dr. Bronner's at first. Now I've gotten to give an equal shot to the Dr. Squatch using it for five days in a row and having my whole family use it. And here is kind of the conclusion that I've come to. I probably 
probably still like the Dr. Bronner's slightly better, but I think the Dr. Squatch is a great soap. Maybe the one thing that I noticed a little difference, and it's a slight difference, that maybe I feel a little bit drier with the Dr. Squatch soaps. Also, I think that the Dr. Bronner's, maybe they're a little bit harder and they might last slightly longer. That being said, looking at how much Dr. Squatch soap we used over the last five days with a family of five, it's not bad. In fact, I've calculated it out to be about 50 days for a bar of soap for a person, but we could probably say pretty safely 40 days for a bar of soap. And that's based upon the fact that over five days, we used a total of 2.5 ounces between five people. And that means 0.5 ounces per day or 0.1 ounce per person per day, which equals 50 days if it worked out that way. And I'm sure some people used less soap than others. So that being said, maybe it might not last quite 50 days, but I would be confident to say that it could last 30 to 50 days. I like the fact that the Dr. Brunner's is almost all organic. And although the Dr. Squatch is not all organic, at least they use mostly or at least 98% or so natural ingredients. And as you know, their one man-made ingredient is their fragrances, which are for the most part plant derivatives or maybe entirely plant derivatives. Let's go ahead and just take a look at these soaps and I'll tell you which ones we like the best. After using these soaps for five days, we used a total of 2.5 ounces from these Dr. Squatch soaps and that was between these two bars and you can see what a full bar looks like and then this was the Fresh Falls this is the Bay Rum I personally preferred the Bay Rum I liked it a lot more than I liked the Fresh Falls but my son and one of my daughters liked the Fresh Falls better my wife and I also out of the sense that you see here with the Dr. Squatch we liked the Bay Rum and the Summer Citrus my daughter liked the Fresh Falls and the Summer Citrus and then you can see as I had already previously mentioned I believe that this one is very good for people who maybe feel like their skin is sensitive because it is unscented so it's just the bar soap but overall both good soaps I just think maybe I still like Dr. Bronner's slightly better all things considered both of these soaps might be a step up from what a lot of people are used to using and if you're looking for natural soaps I think you could feel pretty good about trying either of these like I said I think I like the Dr. Bronner's slightly better but this one does have quite a few scents and maybe this soap would be just right for you. So that's my review and comparison of the Dr. Bronner's versus the Dr. Squatch bar soaps. I hope it was helpful to you and helps you to make a decision on if you want to try one or both of these. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share this video, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.